tools. So the first software tool is called the One Click Designer. And in our experience dealing with the Titan One customers, we saw that the main thing, the main issue that people had really was creating professional designs uh, very quickly and very cheaply. And this was kind of the main pang that people had. And so what we've done with Titan 2 is we've created uh, this new software tool, which is called the One Click Designer. And as the name suggests, it allows you to create professional designs far, far quicker than you can do with any software tool uh, that's ever been out there, basically. So the first thing we've done is we've preloaded around 200 niches into the software. And what that means is you can just choose some different categories, for example, professions, pets, and hobbies. So if I choose hobbies, you'll see that the hobbies list appears over here. So bodybuilder, cyclist, surfer, etc. You'll notice we have a rough audience size in brackets on Facebook along with a description. Um, so I could choose battle rapper or bodybuilder or cyclist or whatever. Um, the other thing that you'll see is that the actual back-end software is also preloaded with different words. So essentially each one of these is going to contribute towards our design. So if we put a profession in, uh, then that will preload all of the um, all of the designs that have got uh, a space for professions. If we put a verb in, it'll do the same, etc, etc. Um, you can enter any of the niches that are chosen here, or you can enter your own. So for example, um, let's say I wanted to focus on the firefighter niche and specifically on maybe firefighter moms. So profession, I could put in firefighter, verb, uh, saving lives. Object, uh, let's put helmet, firefighter helmet. And adjective, let's put proud as an example. Uh, we can also upload an image as well, which will uh, contribute towards the different designs. And I'll just click the Create T-shirt Designs button. And as you can see, we've got all of these professional designs that have just been created. Uh, the vast majority work really well. Um, one or two might not work in that particular instance, depending on the color scheme and whatnot. Um, and also the actual grammatical layout that's there. Um, but predominantly, it just works really, really well. You can see we've just got all these different designs. Um, at the moment, there's only 25 designs loaded into the system. When we go live, there's going to be additional filtering up here. And there's also going to be over 200 designs, which essentially means that there's um, the users are basically within one, two, three clicks of creating as much as 20,000 different possible design combinations. So, you know, really, really cool. Um, by far the easiest way to create designs. I mean, look at this, it's just absolutely perfect. We just click on, on the, on the uh, design and then download it straight to our computer. So that is uh, the first software tool, which is going to allow people to drive conversions far, far better than we even got for Titan 1. Uh, the second software tool is more focused on Facebook than Teespring. And this is basically the social formula tool. So just to give some background context, when you've created your uh, Facebook ad and you've, you've put it live, you, one of the key issues, again, that we had from our customers was, well, exactly what do we do to find out how a campaign's doing? And, you know, when do we know to kill a campaign? Do we have to spend $5, $10, $20 without a sale? And, um, you know, it... it kind of was quite frustrating for a lot of people to not know exactly scientifically what to do other than to just waste money and then after 30 50 dollars say oh the campaign's definitely a dud, a dud i'll pause it but by that time they've already lost a load of money so one of the things you can do that's great with facebook is you can create these reports and the reports will tell you whether a particular age or gender is performing well uh, you can see not just sales and money in money in out money in money out and cost per conversion but you can also see cost per website click cost per share cost per engagement click through rate and some other things um, and these these metrics are really leading metrics in that they kind of hint at the profitability of a campaign if a campaign has got very good cost per engagement very high click through rate very cheap cost per website click and very cheap cost per share what we probably know is going to be a good campaign because people are engaged we're able to get traffic very very cheaply and we're able to get engagement very cheaply even if initially once you've only spent the first one or two dollars we've not got sales the other thing that we can do is we can also look within the reports and we can see whether or not a campaign has actually um, generated profits or is likely to generate profits for a particular gender, male or female, or for, for a particular um, age, for example, 18 to 24. So we can not just look overall across the whole campaign at, at all these different metrics within reports and see how they're doing, but we can also focus and see whether a particular age or gender segment is performing very, very well. And the way we do this is simple. We just go into our reports, uh, customize our column, 
so that all of the key metrics are shown and save it. Um, this all looks more complicated than it actually is. Just put in the ad set here that we want to target, export it, and then we've got a, a CSV file on our computer essentially. And by the way, this is the quick start guide um, that we're just in the process of formatting. And then once you've got the CSV in our computer, we just find it and import it into the social formula tool. And as you can see, it basically just displays uh, how the campaign is doing color coded in terms of orange is kind of okayish, red is bad, and green is basically good. So we want lots of greens. The more greens, the more profitable the campaign is likely to be. Um, we can basically see via a, a score which is assigned, which is dependent on the um, all of those metrics, cost per sale, cost per share, cost per website click. But we also have a confidence number which is based on ad spend. And then we can kind of see these on a graph too, so we can see how male and female are performing very quickly and intuitively, how the different age ranges are performing and things of that nature. So that's the social formula tool. It works for, it's Adobe Air, so it'll work for both Mac and um, PC. And in case you're wondering about the formula, we can also amend the formula. Again, this looks a little bit more complicated than it is. It's actually quite simple. Um, but advanced users can amend the formula and assign different scores to different metrics and save it. You can also change the currency and do lots of other things as well.